Okay, this is the third uh, part. And I hope it's the last. I'm going to try to get everything out as I can. As I was saying, you got to put us, because what I'm seeing is the most evilest people that you can imagine. The most cold hearted, if they have a heart, the most soulless things anybody could imagine. Because they don't stop. With all the evidence I collect against them, the bus drivers, the police officers, uh, the merchants, they don't stop. They act like they have no sense of preservation. And with uh, this drug that they're taking, it doesn't, they're not human. They're not human at all. And as I said, with that MK Ultra, with that um, voice and skull technology that they're using on targeted individuals, with the Morgellons they're putting in the air, with the drugs that they're giving, that blocker, turning people into zombies. It's just unimaginable the evil. Evil can uh, God has put these all in one matrix, in one spot. So the most evil, vilest things, the most uh, cruelest things could be put in one spot. Because I can imagine this much evil anywhere else. On any other planet, in any other parallel universe. I couldn't imagine this kind of evil concentrated in one spot. Uh... As I tell you, I can hear what they're thinking or what they're talking about when they're communicating with each other. And today, when I made that uh, video earlier about how you can get off the drug, some of them are saying, we don't want to get off this drug. Some of them are thinking, we don't want to get uh, be this drug uh, taken from us. And I've seen three men, three grown men cry on the bus of the L. Because they know it's the end. And I don't know whether they're human or, or androids. I don't know what's wrong with them. But to see three, and these were men crying. To see them go, and I think it's a few humans mixed into this too. But for the most, not, God gave us that preservation. He gave us the ability to not, to protect ourselves. It was that the fight or flight, either to fight or run. These things don't have that capacity. They don't have the ability to do that. They just stick to one plan, and that's to do as much evil and as much harm as they can. Because that video, like I said, that I watched today with uh, Herbs plus uh, Bee Works, he gave the answer to getting off that drug, using the copper and uh, aspirin or citric acid to make a way to give people that dopamine and, uh, um, they took the word out of my head, to use to uh, get your brain capacity back. You know, without the, the dopamine and the uh, other chemical that's in our brain are used for our pleasure, uh, senses, our excitement. And once they're burnt out, you don't have any human capacity anymore. You don't have the you don't have the capacity to feel or think rationally. And some of them like I said are saying, Well, we don't want to get off this drug. There's no self preservation. But, um, the store, with that Mandela effect, I can go in the store and buy them scratch off tickets, and, uh, they change. I'll see I want a certain amount of money, and then I go into the store, and it says it's not there. I, I've made videos in the past of how they can change the, uh, numbers on the receipt. If you guys watch my video, you'll see the Mandela effect working on the paperwork receipts you get and other things that's going on. So, 
When you buy a scratch off ticket, they can make you not win or win. Uh, in the past, I've made a video about how that parasite or that poison that they've given us, it has a certain smell, like I can smell it. And uh, it's usually affected by cold or heat. You can usually eat cold or heat, get rid of it. But the store I went in, I've been going in yesterday, I went in today, I bought a bag of ice. And in the ice, you can smell that toxin. That nano, whatever it is, black goo, white goo, or whatever he said. And uh, I didn't think it could exist in the cold. Especially on frozen stuff. But obviously it is. And these stores, that liquor store, knows that it's on there. They know they gave me ice with that stuff fuel in it. Uh, also, when I had tickets to show $18 that I had won, but when she rung it up, she only gave me 16 So they can change the amount of, uh, like they can do receipts of what you want. And they know I know. They know I'm taking evidence. But they still continue. So. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what realities I'm in. I don't know whether the matrix. Flat earth. Or another parallel universe. But with everything that's happening around us. Even with the suns, we see more than one sun in the sky. Even with the planets that we see in the air, with the chemtrails, with the uh, uh, these flying saucers, the mysterious clouds, the earthquakes. Well, I don't want to sound like I ran into raving, but more is going on that you can see. With the naked eye. Um, I ask you guys all the time. In fact I tell you all the time. Do your research. Look at these videos. Especially those videos I like. Now they might be. Or, or, or hidden. Somewhere else. And they have deleted a lot of my videos. And like I said. Just park them in to have that many. Uh, manholes. In grass, where if grass is not really grass, it's just concrete under uh, under a thin layer of dirt. Where are we? What are we doing? And can it be stopped? No, we can't do it. God is in control. They're looking for the God particle. They'll find the whole God. Well, you guys, I'm going to end this here. Do your research. Be aware. Be prepared. God says his people perish for the lack of knowledge. So, love you. Keep praying. Keep your head to the sky. And that's looking up at God. Because he is in control. But watch those videos. You got to learn a lot. You got to know what's going on around you. We don't know what reality is. None of us does. Men will never know what reality is. Bye.